If a car window is acting up and it won't close or open, there is a simple paperclip trick people use to at least get their window shut until further repairs. In order to understand how this trick works, let's take a look at this toy motor powered by a AA battery. The motor spins in one direction and if we flip the battery, it spins in the other direction. Same basic principles are used in a car. A window motor is powered by a 12 volt battery. The biggest difference from my mock-up is there is a window switch placed in between the battery and the motor to keep the two separate until you operate the switch. When you push the switch down, it connects the battery to the motor, allowing the current to flow across the motor. The motor spins and turns the window regulator to bring the window down. When you pull up on the switch, it connects the battery to the motor in reverse order, allowing the current to flow across the motor in the opposite direction, which makes the motor spin in reverse and turn the window regulator to bring the window up. So now we see there is battery power and ground at the switch, and the switch simply redistributes them to power up the window motor. The way the battery and the motor are connected to the switch is through a connector with four metal pins, two for the battery and two for the motor. And if we unplug the connector from the switch, we can connect the battery to the motor using our paper clips, this way or this way. But enough drawing boards, let's take a look at a real example. First, a person would turn the key on and gain access to the back of the switch. Unplug the connector going to the malfunctioning part of it and then they would poke their paper clip pieces around different pins until they're able to power up the right motor. Bear in mind there are risks involved with this trick. If you're wondering how do you know what pin is what without a wiring diagram to make sure you don't accidentally connect power to ground and blow a fuse or a control module. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm using this trick on two different cars going over safety tips and problems you may encounter. Most of the time when this trick works it means the switch is bad. Same basic principles can be used to power up malfunctioning electric mirrors, locks, seats and many other things in your car powered with a switch. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Give it a thumbs up if it made sense. Good luck and take care.